Personal story segment tonight, commentator on MSNBC, Ed Schultz, apparently taking hundreds of thousands of dollars from labor unions, even as he promotes big labor on the air. In February of 2011, the people of this state objected to Walker's radical plan to strip public employee unions of their bargaining rights. The governor's law cut into the heart of union wages and benefits. The Ed Show heard the outcry from the workers and came to Wisconsin to see the reaction for ourselves. And joining us now from Washington to analyze, the anchor of FNC's media buzz, Howard Kurtz. So uh, MSNBC has issued a statement saying that all the speaking fees that uh, Mr. Schultz gets from the unions are donated to charity. But he still gets a substantial amount of money in form of advertising on his radio show, which he keeps. Um, so, you say? The appearance is awful of a commentator who's way too cozy with the unions, especially since Schultz fashions himself as a crusader on labor issues. Now, Bill, I don't have any problem with uh, the advertising money going to Schultz's radio show. It's a business. That's how businesses uh, get their income in the broadcasting field. But the speaking fees, even though Schultz is giving the money to charity, good for him, he has to do that to avoid running afoul of NBC rules. So why do the paid speeches at all when you're so active on these labor issues? Okay, now um, he's gotten in 2012-2013 uh, more than $250,000. I mean, that's big money. We're, talking, we're not talking chump change here. It's big money. Right. Um, it seems to me that NBC News, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what's happening over there, all right? Because the nightly news is run responsibly. I mean, you may disagree with their kind of liberal slant, but it's a responsible operation. The Today Show is responsible. I don't have any beef with the Today Show. They do what they've always done. Again, a little left tilt, but, you know, nothing egregious. But this cable network under the NBC News banner is just outrageous. We saw what Sharpton did last week. He, he's dishonest in the way that he presents material on the air. We saw the Bashir attack on, on Sarah Palin, which was just off the chart. He got fired because of it. And now we see Schultz taking a quarter of a million dollars from labor unions that he espouses on the air. And I mean, I, I'm going, what is going on over there? Well, to me, the issue with Ed Schultz, I wouldn't put him in the same category as the others you mentioned, is disclosure. If it had not been for a website that brought this, uh, these figures out, we would not be talking no, you about couldn't, it. Uh, look, Howard, you couldn't do that on the Fox News Channel. I submit you couldn't do it on CBS or ABC News. You could right. not take that kind of money in any capacity, whether you're a commentator, a janitor, and you can't do it. But it, at, at, over there, look, this is what I think would, should happen. And, and I hope Comcast is listening. Comcast is a parent company. Just make MSNBC an entertainment network. <laughs> Take, no, I'm not, no, no, no. Take it out of the news realm. You want to make your, your money, make your money. You want to be a left-wing network, fine. I don't have any beef with that. But you're not a news network. You're an advocacy network. So take it out of the news banner, put it on the entertainment band. Well, look, let's be clear. A lot of people engage in advocacy on Fox News, but Fox News has a Not news division. policy. NBC, MSNBC, excuse me, is 85% opinion, according to the Pew Research Center. So uh, they don't have what any What would reporters. be wrong with putting it under the, the NBC entertainment banner? What? I, I think MSNBC benefits by association because when there is a big story, since it doesn't have its own reporters, you know, Pete Williams can come on, Brian Williams can come on, and it gets the sheen from NBC They can still NBC come on News. if they're entertainment. I do entertainment venues all the time. Are you telling me if you were the president of NBC News that you would feel comfortable with this presentation, with all the things that are happening over there? Would you? Well, you know, MSNBC plays to its base. We saw that with the super soft. You're dodging my Chris question. If you were the president, would you feel comfortable with all the stuff that's going on over there? Well, I certainly wouldn't feel comfortable with the kind of outrageous comments made by Martin Bashir and Alec Baldwin. But in terms of the opinion realm, there's no law against uh, their people, you know, pandering to their base, playing to their base, I should say. When Chris Matthews does an interview with President Obama, that's softball, not hardball. You know, we can be critical of it. The people who watch MSNBC I wasn't critical probably of it. like it. I wasn't I, was. I wasn't. I, was. I don't, I don't care what he does. People have a right to watch what they want. If somebody want to watch Matthews do a softball interview, I don't have any beef with that. What I have a beef with, though, is that there are journalistic standards, and but there aren't at that place. There aren't any.
So there, just take it and make it an entertainment network. Last word. There are a few journalists uh, who have shows on MSNBC who are privately embarrassed by how far left and some of the name calling that goes on at MSNBC. Uh, and this is a problem for them because it does rub off on the NBC News brand. All right. Howard Kurtz, everybody. We come right back.